Spring typically is a hot time in the real estate market, but with the pandemic putting nearly every aspect of life in flux, many are wondering if now is a good time to make a move. So what should buyers and sellers be focusing on right now? Joining me with insight is Rogers Healy, broker and owner of Rogers Healy and Associates Real Estate and PwC partner, Mitch Rochelle. Good to see both of you. Thanks for being here. Morning. Good morning. morning. Okay, so, you know, Mitch, you're coming out of the New York, New Jersey area. Rogers, you're coming out of the Texas area. I'm curious, you know, how things are different here. Rogers, what are you seeing right now? Yeah, I mean, we've seen a, a, a pretty good slowdown. Um, January, February, and March were probably the best three months we've seen in Austin, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, El Paso, the, the major markets here. But, you know, the, the last three weeks, people have really reevaluated and, and they've taken a, a massive step back. But, you know, people still need to move, you know, for the most part. But all in all, it, it's, it's, been pretty, it's been pretty slow here the last few weeks. Mm, yeah, I guess that's not really surprised that it's, it's slowed off a little bit. Mitch, I'm sure you're seeing yeah. a bit of the same. Yeah, but the reality, Jillian, is everybody's stuck in their cabin. And one thing that happens when you have cabin fever, you start dreaming about having a bigger cabin. <laughs> so what you're seeing is if you look at Zillow data, there's a tremendous amount of people sort of voyeuristically looking at homes. And I think once buyers can get out there and actually buy a house, once sellers start putting them back on the market, I think you're going to see a lot of activity later, uh, perhaps this spring or in the early summer. So, Mitch, let's stick with you for a second and let's pull up some of these points that you make here, talking about, you know, you may need a higher credit score. Score that could be necessary appraisals and inspections obviously might be harder to coordinate employment verification is going to be a key lender requirement and I think everyone understands that closings will be virtual for a wire you know it's interesting when you talk about employment verification I think that's just so up in the air for a lot of people right now yeah, it, it's, it's hard for two reasons. One is, if you are gainfully employed, just getting somebody from human resources to confirm your employment is probably difficult. But the fact of the matter is, lenders are worried. Look at the unemployment numbers. They're, they're alarming. And I think lenders will be rightfully worried about the future employment prospects of would-be borrowers. I think that's going to be a big challenge for some trying to get a mortgage. Rogers, what's your advice to people who might be looking to buy or sell right now? Yeah, so for people that are looking to buy, if you're going to finance something, I to kind of play off Mitch's point, try to get locked into a contract sooner than later because the mortgage rules are changing pretty frequently. We haven't seen this kind of volatility on the back end, you know, really in the last seven or eight years. So I, I think having a sense of urgency if you have to move is crucial, right? Mm -hmm. But with that being said, like we talked about, whether it's cabin fever or apartment fever, you guys got to make sure you put your safety first. So I, I do think a lot of the rules with real estate are going to change. And then on the seller side, whether it's in Texas, New York, California, you know, or wherever you guys are, there have been a lot of mandates put in place from our mm -hmm. local board of realtors. Make sure that those people are adhering to those rules. So a lot of times you got to get a disclosure sign saying that the seller, the buyer, or the realtors involved don't even have a temperature. So I I think people on the consumer side need to educate themselves, you know, more than they ever have before Absolutely. outside of just what they want, you know, in, in their new property. So I, I think just being well informed is, is crucial, you know, given this crisis that we've been dealing with. Yeah, good advice from advice from both of you. That's for sure. And, and I won't be surprised if we see, you know, the virtual showings and things like that continuing for a little while. Uh, Mitch right. Rogers, thank you both. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. You, you too.